What is good? Welcome to the rest of your life. Why are you not living your dream? Why are you not doing it right now? What's going on? What's wrong with you? I'm just kidding. What's good? Welcome to Monday, 111. Happy January 11th, 21. Let's get started. Three reasons you should be living your dream and three things you can do today, right now, to start living your dream because there's just too much life to be lived and I want to help the world enjoy more. So if you're used to me dunking, used to my Dunk Tip Tuesdays, you're new to my channel, this is what I love to do. All my videos are about that. Dunking is my dream. I still have dream levels to go, but I really want to help you guys, whatever that way is, to live your dream. So let's just get right into it, not waste any moments. This is also podcast form check it out let's go number one how to dream so many people I talk to so many people I work with don't even know how to dream I call it dream building so a few tips the reason why it's so important is because if I ask you right now what is your dream you might say a million dollars you might say to dunk you might say this but what if you achieve those right and now what is the ultimate dream what's your dream life what does that look like on a Saturday, on a Monday actually, I love Monday. So let's start with Monday because on a dream life, a Monday is your favorite day like it is mine. Monday morning, you wake up, you're financially stable, you achieved your athletic goals, you're expressive, you're, you're doing things you love to do. What are you gonna do with your time? What does that feel like, right? And then so many questions are gonna come up. I don't know if I could afford this. I don't know who if I can be with this person. I don't know. Point is, questions come up, and the number one thing I start with is clarity. What would you do with that free time? Because that will illuminate your passions, it'll illuminate what you want to do, and you'll it'll bring questions up that show you you're not being true to yourself. What would you do if everybody supported you? What would you be doing if nobody supported you? If you wanted to do what you wanted to do and you broke away from people? These are the type of questions that come up when you try to build that clarity around your dream life. So it's a whole skill to to build it. It's not a one day thing. It takes time because those questions arise from your subconscious that you haven't thought about before. And that is such a huge key because I don't see people even attempting to build the dream life that they want or even understand it in their mind. And if you don't understand it in your mind, you can't visualize it. You can't feel it. You don't know where you're headed. How are you ever going to get there? And that leads me to number two, habits. Habits, aka the subconscious, I just think they're such a huge key, and let's go. Habits are the keys to your routine that allow you to produce results at an efficient, productive rate, but they also teach you about your subconscious because when you start a new habit, it's like watering a seed. It takes a lot of care and maintenance at first, but over time it grows into a tree that you barely have to maintain. You just let it sunlight hit it, you get a little bit of water, the weather takes care of it. And the same is true with these patterns that you've already carved. So if you have some bad patterns, you have a job that you don't like, you have these that you things that you don't do, obligations, food, whatever, whatever routine you've built for yourself right now, say it's taken 10 years, 20 years to build, now you have to unlearn that. In the athletic field, if you've carved the wrong patterns with your mechanics like I have, I've caused imbalances in my legs, I have to unlearn that. So if it took five to 10 years to carve those, it's gonna take a long time to um, uproot them, but you can. And that's why we start with the dream life clarity, because if you do that, you're gonna be motivated the whole time because you're like, okay, every step of the way, I'm headed to that dream life. And when you connect to that dream life, that motivation is so deep within you, that motivation is endlessly running through you. So habits unlock you and they start tiny. So one of the biggest habits, I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but let me know what you wanna see, by the way. More into the dream life clarity, more into the habits. I think I'm just gonna do whatever I want, but I wanna know your questions. I wanna know where you guys need help. In habits, one of the biggest ones is journaling because journaling, writing on hand on hand paper, with your hand on paper, is very connected to your subconscious. By doing so, you understand what your brain's thinking. For example, you write out everything for your day. Quick, quick example of journaling. Write out all your tasks. Write out everything you have to do for the week. Now have fun. Journal a fantasy. Journal that dream life. Journal achieving that dunk, achieving that goal, achieving that job, achieving a financial goal. Whatever the goal is, as it's happened, I today I made this happen and I, it feels like this and write out the emotions and when you do that, you start to uncover patterns in your subconscious and by doing that, your brain doesn't know the difference of an experience that's happening now or in the future or in the past. 
which is another reason why you want to unlock the subconscious. When you think of the dream life, you're going to think of the past. I failed in the past. I don't want to feel that again. We have to get over that fear. Journaling is very connected to the subconscious. Great tool to uncover questions in your head and to get them out. Get the fears out. I fear that I'm going to do this. Journal the dream life. Good and bad. If it goes well, what does it feel like? If it goes bad, what does it feel like? Because a huge thing I learned from Tim Ferriss is the fear journaling, fear uh, task list, fear problems, right? You write down all the fears that can happen, and most of the time, they're not even that bad. So not only are they not that bad, you can mitigate them. So the IRS audits you while you're traveling, something like that he brought up in his book. You can mitigate that. You can check your mail, whatever it's got to be. But you got to remember you're going to die. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to move on to number three. So we have the subconscious, build these habits so that way they become part of your subconscious. Because when you build the habits, small habits, like just brushing your teeth twice a day, you don't have to think about that if you do it every day. Eating healthy, you start with one day a week. It builds up to two days a week, then a week, then you're eating every meal. You look back a year uh, or a year goes by, you look back, now you're eating healthy every single meal. And a year ago, you didn't even have one healthy meal. So think long term build these tiny habits into your life slowly and they become routine they become subconscious they they don't re, well they don't take any energy anymore because they're part of your subconscious subconscious is a huge factor in this whole dream life journey and the last one is the mindset is understanding where you're headed and that understanding that the mindset the positive mindset the work ethic mindset they're all the mindsets are a practice so at this moment you're developing that mindset you need for that dream life because it's not going to be easy there's going to be decisions you're going to have to make you're going to have to cut people out you're going to have to switch and uproot things leave your job scary moments whatever it is but you can develop that mindset now and you could work on it it's not something you just get instantly so if you can work on that mindset so that's what the habits are good for get in the habit of having tough conversations get in the habit of stepping outside your comfort zone get in the habit of being yourself and then you'll start to get better at all of these things you'll get better at the dream life clarity you'll get better at forming habits that help you succeed building that awareness and there's so many things that will lead from that practice but the mindset is huge every action starts with a thought and if you can remember that you can start to practice that and now for number four the bonus which i kind of hinted on in the middle of the video is you're gonna die so you lose, your, you lose your job, you quit your job, you, you're homeless, all these different things could happen, you're dead anyway. Might as well go for it. Jim Carrey said, you can fail at what you hate, so you might as well do what you love. And I'm not saying just do it because you love it, but there's so much potential out there. I was just watching a video with Saad Guru, who's a great guy that I just learned about the past couple of weeks. He has great talks and speeches, and one thing he said is everybody can earn a living, this little brain is is capable of so much more than just earning a living ants bugs worms they all earn their living they're all surviving so what can we do with this brain it seems like such a small thing it's almost this is my intake my take on it it's almost disrespectful to use all our efforts to just do the basic thing to just be somebody else not be ourselves the world needs you and if this doesn't fuel you up, watch it again. And if you didn't get started in your dream life and you feel badly you didn't get started yet, you started now. You clicked on this video. Whatever happened, it worked. It's meant to be, and I want you to say, go get started right now. Happy freaking Monday. Happy 111 for my spiritual sisters and brothers out there. And hope you have a freaking good day. And I'll see you every day because that's how we live. We don't. I don't go anywhere. I'm just not on your screen, I guess. But I have so many videos. You could probably go check them out. Have a good one. Toodaloo, I love you.